Welcome and hello. Today is July 5th, 2024. Today we'll be going over some more foreign news about our original gangster rulers, the world being on fire, and people performing the quintessential American act of hot dog eating. And remember, if you stick around or are a returning viewer, like and subscribe to the video, otherwise Santa Claus will take gifts this year instead of giving them. Starting off with Britain, home of tea and kings, and only one of those is the US trying to compete with. The UK's major parties in this election are Labour, spelled with a U because that's British English, Conservative Party, and the Liberal Democrat Party. The Conservative and Unionist Party, the Conservative Party for short, is known as the Tories. This dates back to when they were founded in 1834 as an offshoot of the Tory Party, which in turn was one of those things that starts as an insult and then becomes part of the party identity. As in, it originally meant outlaw in Irish and was used as an insult because the Tory party was seen as rather rebellious in nature compared to the main parties at the time. Anyhow, today they'd be the conservative party. That's what they go by. The closest thing to the conservative party in the U.S. would be our Republicans. Over the past decade plus, they've lowered social services, disrupted health care, and ran on policies that were keeping spending in check while basically destroying the social safety nets of most people, ruining small business cap capabilities to compete well, while pointing at deportation, military defense, and tougher sentences on criminals to be a solution to all of the UK's problems. Meanwhile, the Labour Party is more like the progressives in the USA, running on a platform of direct wealth generation for working people through technology and infrastructure investments, clamping down on tax avoiders, wealthy business and people, person loopholes in their tax system, and additional taxes on things that wealthy people tend to participate in so the working class can manage better, like private school taxation to fund public schools. Building more homes and trying to save the world from the worst of climate change effects are all on their list, while still adding on a border policy to focus on safety, not pure isolationism. Well, in the news, the Labour Party won which means they will get to appoint the new prime minister. This is a good sign for us here in the USA as the UK went through a similar Trumpian era, but it was milder and longer tailed. So there's hope for us yet. Let's turn to other hot off the presses news. California. It's on fire. Again, literally. In Northern California fires, um, there's homes that are being threatened. Nearly 30,000 people have been ordered to evacuate. The Thompson Fire has over a thousand firefighters attempting to contain it, but in just one day, that fire tripled in size and is having a difficult time being contained due to the record heat wave. Although fire frequency has remained somewhat consistent over the decades, where some years it's up and others it's down, and injuries due to fires have actually shrunk over time, extreme wildfires' frequency and severity has increased. So fires that are more mild Stay roughly the same, but the number of those fires that have been extreme, costing huge amounts of money, causing lots of damage, has increased over time. Some will point to the fewer injuries that take place each year in the USA, but that's due to the various technologies, techniques, and warnings being issued as the root cause of why that's happening. But damage and costs of those uh, fires have gone up and continue to rise. For this next story, there needs to be a trigger warning. If you think that hot dogs are gross, skip ahead about 30 seconds. For the rest of you, Patrick Bertoletti downed 58 hot dogs in 10 minutes and won the right to hold the mustard belt with pride and joy. He would have lost to the all-time champion, Joey Chestnut, but that guy signed a deal with Impossible and all the meat lovers said he can't participate anymore. There's just isn't something that screams surplus and everything's normal in the USA outside of a good old-fashioned hot dog eating contest. And in other news that should make you sick, what mass shootings happened yesterday? In Chicago, Illinois, on the 7100 block of South Woodland Avenue, three people were killed, two injured. Sadly, one of those killed and two of the injuries were children ages 5, 7, and 8. When multiple suspects got out of vehicles and assaulted the home that they were in with a barrage of bullets. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on the 1900 block of Salford Street, one person was killed and eight injured, multiples of them being teens, when suspects drove past a party and shot into it multiple times. In Ocean Springs, Mississippi, on Cumberland Road, seven people were injured, two of which were children, when the shooter, who is in police custody, used a shotgun to fire pellets into a house party. He gave no explanation for his actions. And let's end on a controversial topic. Smartphones are not making us dumb. 
People not using their smartphones to discover all the amazing things out there is making us dumb. When you think telling your opponent in an argument that they should do their own research instead of providing your own sources to support your claim, then guess what? That dumbness has been around forever. But smartphones now give that person credibility because they may have a million or two million subscribers. Smartphones allow us to combat ignorance practically anywhere, and yet we use them to watch dance videos, politicians sharing naked pictures of people, or them attempting to have sex in a theater. Every day, you have more access to the information of the world. Use that power.